We are in Bundaberg, one of Australia's most popular port of entries and gateway to the Great Barrier Reef, but really it's just a small farming community that we fell in love with. We are the McKays and this is Firefly. Join us as we journey to a hundred islands. After a long treacherous crossing over the Coral Sea, our port of entry into Australia was Bundaberg, famous for their macadamia nuts, sugar, rum, and soda. In other words, Bundy is just a small town, but we're used to Vanuatu, so to us, Bundaberg felt like a thriving metropolis, and it felt so good to go shopping. They peel the trees here. <laughs> he said that they shave the trees here because they, the trees naturally peel off. What is going on? If they catch the $50 bill, please slushy. They get to buy a slushy to share with us. Oh, I heard it. We are in the land of Vegemite. We are about to have our first Australian picnic. Man, when you have a boat, you walk a lot. At the same time, you hardly walk at all during crossings. I'm sure I can almost touch it. <laughs> are these birds? You want to come in here, please? Oh, look it! Look, there is another one! They're everywhere! What are they? And while shopping, we happened upon the cutest free zoo right in the middle of town. This is a blind snapping turtle. She was found in the wild with injuries to her eyes, or her, her eyes are gone. And so I just said hello, and then it hello back. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like monkeys look like grandpas who still ride their motorcycles. I think the, the people who like. Has one dot nineteen dot uh, four dot. Mom, I think. All right, all right, all right. Mom, 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 Mom. They're having turns. They're like, I want to turn with the bird. No, it's my turn. I will try. Honestly, it's a little intimidating. I'm glad there's a fence in between us. But that zoo was only the beginning because we heard about an even better zoo in the neighboring town of Childers. All right, today is a very exciting day. We are going to a zoo that has, has koalas. Oh, I was about to come in this way, but this is not uh, the passenger side, is it? Nope. So we went to church and a family that was at church let us use their van. Like, can you believe it? They're Thank letting you, us Johnsons, you're amazing. Oh, people are so nice. We feel so blessed. Australia is famous for having the deadliest animals on the planet, and most of those animals are reptiles. <laughs> like these two. I love how it looks at me. This is not an exhibit. This is just like in the wild. are huge you can't tell but they're huge but the biggest reptiles were the crocodiles um, these are what dinos living dinos Oh, 
it, that was cool because there's a fence in between us. They even let us hold a crocodile. Yeah, he looks so happy. He does? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yep. Have you ever gotten bitten? Uh, yeah, but I did it just to see. <laughs> you did it just to see? Yeah, he was a lot smaller than me. You just see how powerful they're, they're, they're you are? They're like sharp, blunt, they are. That was a sharp one. That was boring. Didn't the person who owned this before get his fingers uh, cut off? Uh, the, the bitten thumb. off? The just, thumb. just the He okay, just got so his thumb bitten off. What, what he done was not good. He should have just. It was it. his fault. Yes. And that the, makes sense. Uh, uh, um, it wasn't your fault uh, at all. Uh, and as, when he realized he had his thumb, he went, but. <laughs> dropped. They also let us hold snakes. But that was pretty freaky since we had just gone to a nature show about the deadliest snakes in the world. We are going to watch a snake show. Coming from Canada, my boys love watching documentaries about venomous, dangerous animals. And so when we said we were coming to Australia, they said, we can't go to Australia. Everything wants to kill us there. But now, we're actually going to see the things that could kill us. I have a question. Yeah. Why don't you put all the snakes down like this? Uh, because some of these snakes are reptile eating snakes and I like my snakes. I don't want one to eat the other one. And besides, they're not even snakes. They're like snakes. They're not even snakes. They're just snakes. Yeah. And they eat snakes. Yeah. So yeah. they're not even snakes. They're just snakes. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not even snakes. They're just snakes. So you just like pick it up with your hands, the most venomous snake in the world. I'm not holding his head with my hands, I have a hook that's keeping me safe. You seem so calm. And if I wasn't calm, I wouldn't be doing this. After learning about these snakes, my boys were still excited to have snakes snuggle up to them. Rewarding before the bite? Yep, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Now, I haven't given them names. Oh, 98% of the time they want to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness, his head is near your head. This is not... This is, this is not this mom's is plan. <laughs> I got bit by a gardener snake. So I found out it is illegal to kill a snake in Australia, home of the most dangerous, deadly snakes in the world, and you're not allowed to kill them. I mean, granted, it's not the snake's fault that it's like deadly and dangerous, but like, that's pretty crazy. I've done a deal with the snakes around here, and I said, if you don't bite me, I won't touch you. But if they bite any of my kids and that, I'm gonna crush their heads. And that's about it. And so ever since then, we don't have any problem with them. We see snakes all the time, we're just on your way. Go eat a rat, go eat a mouse, and that's what they do. But then we went into the enclosure of a famous Australian animal that was not going to kill us, the kangaroos. So we are inside the cage with the kangaroos. I think we're allowed to be in here. No, the door was open. Yeah, the door was open. I think we're allowed in here. Oh, no entry.
know I'm gonna get it off, but it came on to me. Look at that. Okay, get up. And last but not least was the animal my son has been wanting to hug and snuggle forever, the koalas. But they will literally sit there and just pull and grab whatever is in front of them. Yeah, nature's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> I think the most interesting fact that we learned in the koala talk is that eucalyptus is like poisonous to almost everything. And the way that joeys of koalas become used to eucalyptus so it's not poisonous to them is by eating their mother's poop. Poop! Is stand up and then turn. What do I want you to do for a sec is hop off. Oh, I didn't yes, know they, they, they oh, bite. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they bite nice and hard. <laughs> Alright, look at It's amazing, but its claws are kind of intimidating. <laughs> it's true, they are very sharp. Alright, so you can Tiki do, she'll use this hand to grab you and pull your hand up and bite it. She's a little wet bag. See? What do you think? I love koalas. <laughs> love you, Vienna. I wish you were here. She's like, why are you disrupting my sleep? Yes. <laughs> what do you think of this guy? It's a girl, Mom. So I had two things that I knew I wanted to do in Australia. One was see a wild uh, mob of kangaroos. We did that. And the other one was to hug a koala. Look at this! Ah! It's like a teddy bear that wants to kill you. Absolutely it is. <laughs> Obviously, so these girls ended up in, in care because um, they had cysts on their ovaries. So they had to get all their baby making parts taken out basically, so they wouldn't be able to go in the wild, but they can stay and live here and educate everybody. Oh, you're beautiful. Uh, now watch out. <laughs> yeah, she's watch out for that. I will probably okay. give this to you, Vienna. You know, <laughs> after he's loved it for a year. That was incredible. Like, come on. I love that kind of experience way better than a huge zoo. It's way more intimate and personal and up close. Highly recommend. I highly suggest going to Snakes Down Under Reptile Park and Zoo. And if you do, you should also check out the little town of Childers. ISIS Cultural Center and Library kind of finally figured out where they go when they need to build all their uh, stuff for ISIS. It's the uh, ISIS hardware store. To see all the crazy wildlife that lived in Australia was not exactly comforting, especially since we left the marina to anchor in the river. Our 13 year old is following us in the dinghy. He might not know how to drive a car, but he can drive a dinghy. The locals swear that crocodiles don't live in the river, but we saw enough bull sharks in the water that we knew we didn't want to swim in the river. Oh, so so the kids wanted to go e-foiling and we're like, ah, oh, we're just really hemming and hawing whether it was safe. We were just at the dock right there talking and a big bull shark jumped up and did a barrel roll and splashed back out down in the water. But although we couldn't go swimming, the river created enough entertainment for us. You finally caught a fish! Yeah, it's way too I can't get down. Put your fish on your boat. What was it? There's a firefly stuck in our awning on the boat firefly. Isn't that so fun? Of course we got off the boat and the river to go on adventures at every opportunity. Welcome back to High Arms Camp. As me, Ezra, and Daniel this was a good search idea. in the jungle. This is where we'll claim shelter for the night as we go hunting for food. Daniel's found some fur tracks. 
for some rabbits that we could eat later on to our adventure. What do you have to say to the camera, Ezra? We saw a butterfly. <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for Hiram's webcam. We were left behind. That's our boat and that's the dinghy. They left us for stranded. You know you're in Australia when? No, I don't, don't want to get as sandy as that guy was. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ezra. Hi, Ezra. <laughs> All right, give us your best pose. Oh, yeah. Give us some pouty lips. I'm like, yeah, there we go. The best part is this is a video, not a photo. <laughs> so my family's doing at a pool while we're out here at a beautiful little river out oh, here. Yeah, there. adventures that Josh sought out were skating and surfing. So we're going to video Daniel's skate progress. This is day one skateboarding. Becoming a professional now. Nice. the adventures in Bundaberg, we knew we needed the ultimate Bundy experience. A taste test at the Bundaberg Soda Factory. Bundaberg is known for their rum, but we don't drink alcohol, so the Bundaberg Soda Factory is where it's at. Comment below if you love their soda. Yeah, Bundaberg Soda Bushes. Bundaberg universe. <laughs> oh no. The Bundaberg. Bundaverse? The Bundaberg. Okay, I think it's coconut. It's coconut. It's like licorice. I'm gonna try and guess it. Nah. Go to our actual factory. This is like, we, we don't want you to actually go to our factory, so we're going to let you pretend to feel like we're at our factory. This is like a wine tasting for Mormons. The best that we have, we can get, it just depends on season. Above, there is a number there. That is our crafting or brewing days for the flavors. A little bit. Let it breathe. <laughs> waft it to your nose. Let's rate this a five out of ten. Got to waft it first. Enjoy the mouthfeel. <laughs> Actually, it's just really good on my This is really weird. <laughs> Tell me what you think that you've tried them all. Um, five, two, seven, one, five, ten. <laughs> but the true Bundaberg experience didn't turn out to be an adventure or an actual experience. I have a confession. Although I love to visit big cities with their amazing skylines, museums, entertainment, and experiences, in my heart of hearts, 
I am a small town girl, and that is mostly because of the friends and relationships I find there. We are eating lychee. This is Fresh my my friend from church. Hi. And she's <laughs> letting us eat from her tree that she has to cover so that the parrots, flying foxes, don't eat it. And I've just eaten like the, the Japanese and Chinese candy. I didn't know it actually comes from a fruit, but it tastes just like the lychee candy. of Australia because our first place was Bundaberg and they have the nicest people ever. I don't think the rest of Australia can even compete. Like they have been so nice. Fighters here but like they do like and then they kill you. We met so many amazing people who quickly led us into their hearts and homes and they would ask us why we would ever want to stay in Bundaberg. And the truth is, it's because of them. <laughs> Whoa. It's like a little compartment in here. It's like a little tent, huh? All of us having a good time. Oh, wait. This is what I'm doing at 12 o'clock in the night, every night. So, as your Australian tour guide, I've got all the necessary requirements to keep you safe. <laughs> as in, in the back of my oh, car behind the passenger seat, as you all be able to find where that is. Bath and his beauty Snake youth. Kit. Snake bite yeah. kit. We have loved it here in Bundaberg, and like I said, it's famous as the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. So join us next week as we take you there to Elliot Island. Cindy, said to get footage. No, I this is footage of Daniel. This is footage of Hiram. This is footage of Abraham, Maxwell. What? William, Ezra. Oh, there's Hiram's footage. No, this is uh. Oh, here's my footage. Ooh, some naked footage. Woo woo! <laughs>